Hi everyone, I'm Anna, a children's librarian at the East Hampton Library, and I am back again today to share a story and an art project with you. Today, I'm going to read aloud for you, I Ain't Gonna Paint No More by Karen Beaumont with illustrations by David Catro. And a special shout out to Harcourt for allowing us to read, record, and share some of their books at this time. Okay, I ain't gonna paint no more. One day, my mama caught me painting pictures on the floor and the ceiling and the walls and the curtains and the door. And I heard my mama holler like I never did before. You ain't a gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. That's what I said, but there ain't no way that I ain't gonna paint no more. So I take some red and I paint my head. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Ah, uh, what the heck? Gonna paint my neck. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Still, I just can't rest till I paint my chest. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Guess there ain't no harm if I paint my arm. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I just can't stand not to paint my hand. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Then I see some black. So I paint my back. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Like an Easter egg, gonna paint my leg. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Still, I ain't complete till I paint my feet. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I'm such a nut. Gonna paint my what? Y'all don't paint because there ain't no more paint. So I ain't gonna paint no more. That is Ain't Gonna Paint No More by Karen Beaumont. Okay, so for the project behind me, you can see I have a big body taped to my wall. It looks a little bit creepy. And mine is probably much bigger than yours, but we are going to paint based on the illustrations in the book. And we'll start with the head at the very top, which is painted red. And then we move to the neck and the chest and the arm and the hands and on down to the legs. So I want to talk with you first about the paper. What I have is just a white tablecloth, um, just a plastic tablecloth that I use to paint on. Um, we're all getting a lot of packages in the mail, so the big brown paper that comes in packaging is really good. If you don't have those big brown pieces of paper that you can use, the next best thing is grocery bags. So what I have done here, you can see, nice piece of tape and the grocery bag. So I took a couple of grocery bags, cut them open, folded them, unfolded them, and taped them together. So that makes a nice big one you can use. If neither one of those will work for you, the next thing I would recommend then is just taking simple pieces of paper. You can see this one's got a hand drawn on it. So on each piece of paper, you can do a different body part. 
starting with the head on one piece of paper, the neck on another piece of paper, then the chest and an arm, and then tape those to the wall. And you can see mine is attached with just a simple painter's tape here. So paper is the first thing you will need. The second thing you will need is paint. So as always, I just have a variety of craft paint around the house. Um, depending on what type of paper you use, if you don't have paint or don't want your child to make a huge mess, then the next best option, of course, is going to be markers, which I've always got a good supply of that. And the markers actually work really, really well on the brown paper, not so much if you're using plastic. So if you are going to be using paint, then of course you're gonna need something to put it in. I have a paint palette, but for those of you who may not have these supplies at home, an ice tray works really good. Muffin tins work really good, or sometimes just a cup. So I do keep this little group of cups I've got here that I use to put my water in, but also to keep my brushes in. So paper, paint, tape for the wall, tape, packaging tape if you're gonna tape two things together, a palette or a paint tray, and then paint brushes. So have fun with that project. Um, if you flip back through the video, you will see some of the illustrations close up. I'll give you a good shot here of the head again, just so you can see how I started. So that's why my head looks all red. So you want to lay your child down, have them do an outline of their body on the floor, and then tack it up to the wall and let them decorate it. So we've got ants going up and down the arm. We've got a nice face on the hand. We've got twirls on the chest. Big exaggerated ear hanging out the side here. Nice happy child with closed eyes. Anyway, a good one, a fun one you can do at home with just a simple body outline that you start with and tape it up somewhere where your child can reach it. Give them plenty of space around it um, using tape, markers, I'm sorry, paint or markers, even crayons if that's which, what you have handy for them. But flip back through the video, pause on the illustrations and take a good look at how this author and illustrator illustrated the body paint and share with me in the comments what you come up with. Thank you. See you next time.